And when I learned that civilians lived here, I said to Sue, let's go check Culebra and see what Culebra's like. And we stopped in Vieques overnight, and then we came to Culebra, and they used to have a ferry from Vieques to Culebra, which I don't think they have anymore. And we just fell in love with Culebra, and we said, this is it. So we sold our house, as soon as we sold our house, we bought a small fishing boat, and we moved to Culebra and we're in the fishing business. Culebra is as close to paradise as I ever hoped to get. And Culebra has gone to hell right now as far as I'm concerned. How so? Because there's too much tourism and we don't have the facilities to handle it. One of the most important things Culebra needs, one if not the most important thing Culebra needs, is a center line, a white or yellow center line down all the roads. Because driving in Culebra is terribly dangerous right now. Because of all the rental cars and because of all the tourists that come here and don't understand the narrow roads and they don't understand driving the very wide jeeps they're driving. Do you follow me? So the tendency is to be over in the middle of the road. And while they're over in the middle of the road, there's a lot of curves and the road is too narrow and it's very dangerous. That's one of the, one of the things that has to be attended to in Culebra. And it's a miracle that there have not been more serious accidents here.